Okay, good afternoon, everyone again. Uh, I will share my screen and you will confirm me. Is that visible for you guys? Okay. As always, like if there's any question, you will just uh, you will just unmute yourself and uh, ask. So uh, today's session will be on creating a pitch disk. So uh, we will discuss on how we can create a pitch disk and how we can uh, what's the, what first we will just understand what a pitch disk is and then we will see. Uh, how we can create a pitch disk and what are the main components to include in a pitch disk and also we will see uh, a ways on how to improve our pitch disk so first uh, we will see an introduction which is to understand what uh, what pitch disk pitch deck is so like a pitch disk it is a brief presentation which is uh, presented in usually in the form of a slideshow so like uh, it will outline the key elements of business idea or startup so it's typically it's used to communicate the overall uh, the overview or the impact that the business can create for uh, uh, in in real life and like everything so that we can uh, talk with the potential in investors partners or customers so like it's really important because it will provide us a structured and concise way to com to communicate the complex information about what our business idea holds so like uh, a pitch deck it is uh, uh, like an easy way in which we can outline the business the impact of our business and what our business idea is what solution it it would bring and what is the problem statement that we drive our business idea from it, we will it, it will it should include all these components so uh, in short it's a way to communicate to communicate a complex information about our, our business idea uh, so if you have if you are a business owner or if you are if you hold a new startup you need a pitch deck whenever you need uh, to pitch your business to to anyone so there's no location or anything but, but if you wanted to uh, talk for someone about your uh, business idea it's better to have a pitch deck so the main essential components of a pitch deck is are like uh, the first one would be a mission or a vision of uh, your business idea and then the problem that you are going to solve after implementing that business idea and also the market the market size of the opportunity uh, the product uh, what what it make well, what is the unique thing about that product and also traction and revenue traction it is uh, it's actually like it mainly concerns about uh, what financial gains that we have uh, we have gained so far and revenue it's a summary of the financial gain also and also like at last it should contain evidence that your team can execute so um, as we have already mentioned a pitch deck it's a uh, presented usually in a slideshow format so it will contain first a title so it will contain a title uh, introduction and also the title it it's like recommended to make it memorable for the for the like for the investors or stakeholders so for whoever you're going to present the title is recommended to be uh, like uh, it's recommended to be in a way that would create an impression in the investor or stakeholder and then we have an introduction which should be shorter and it's better to uh, focus on the business idea when you're including the introduction and also uh, the third one is problem so the problem is a slide it's uh, it's like uh, we can 
you, we can start from whenever uh, you start building your story, but it's uh, it's recommended to showcase your the problem statement uh, in a best possible way, so that first it's better to start with a story and puts your investors or your customers shoes like uh, in the problem statement. So like it's better to start with a story and then you can put the investors or the customer shoes in it. And then we have also a solution. So like once you have presented the problem, it's time to follow up with, uh, with whatever solution you come up. So you can introduce the solution uh, in a lot of different ways. Maybe you can share your product MVP uh, or you can list the features that you can offer so that you can you 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 will solve the problem. So in the next we have also market size opportunity and trends. So like in market size opportunity and trend, uh, if there is a market for those who are interested in scratching the edge. Uh, you can also answer that in the slide and also you can show the market size with the help of numbers or data visualization like a pie chart or bar graph to make like to to show to make it clear for the investors to understand and also you in another way you can go to you can pro, you can show it using uh, graphs also like you can you can create, you can select whatever presentations that you want to use, but the main point is you, it should be direct into the point. And then another, we have a product comparison. Yeah, product comparison, you will just compare, you, you will, uh, you will have a comparison between products that you have already produced in the existing the existing system before the like before this business idea. What other business idea are there to to solve the the solution the problem that you have come up with, and also uh, what is the comparison between them and why your product is better than the existing product the the other existing products, and also you can provide testimonials what uh, what 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 your customers have already said about your products and uh, about the features that they have used and a lot of different things but testimonials they are uh, like one way of showing that your product is a good one and also mm, you will include your team team members and also traction as i have already mentioned uh traction they are traction they show investors what you have achieved so far so will we, it we, it's recommended to put it with a clear and meaningful numbers so if you have uh, a growing user base you can visually show it with the help of line graph like if you uh, those stuffs are a little bit uh, they need to be, like they are depth so you need to see a lot of different examples since there are a lot of different pitch deck uh, templates you can also uh, run over that before you uh, design your own pitch deck so financials these are also the same with attraction but you will just show your financial goals or financial plans what you have gained so far on finance base you will try you will try to uh, discuss these points and then sales and marketing strategy this will also contain uh, what marketing strategy that you wanted to uh, include while doing your business and also um, the plans that you have to with what plan do you have regarding the marketing or the sale in order to reach the goals and financial projections that you have highlighted in the previous section so this is where your sales and marketing strat strategy comes in and you will just show that and the next one is call to action so since you need to be you need to be in touch with the investors, you will also include this section. Uh, there are some important doc documents that are recommended to include in your pitch, but 
like uh, I have seen a lot of different templates, but usually they don't include uh, documents. But if you wanted to include documents, it might be cover letter, uh, business plan, and also financial report. These are just uh, the documents that you can include in your page. Uh, I have done, uh, I have seen, I have tried to see a lot of different examples, but as I have already said, there is no document in that. So when you're trying to show your pitch deck, it means you're trying to introduce your business idea to others. So it's uh, recommended to show just uh, the slides only because you can't just put uh, all, you can just put all over the ideas uh, to the to to someone who is new to the business idea. So like it's better to go it to do it process by process or slow slowly. So it's recommended to use the slides. The best practices in design tips. It might be the first one would be leveraging storytelling techniques techniques. So. Uh, we know that like if there is a story in a story existing uh we we human beings wanted to hear that and also it will be interesting at the same time it will impress us and also it will uh, using storytelling techniques it would be like some uh it would be creative and also interesting and memorable for the investor also and it's a better way to present the problem or the solution of your business idea so the first one would be uh, this technique and also the second one is focusing on benefits and not features so when we say about benefits and not features uh, we in our pitch deck we wanted to in, uh, it's recommended to include the benefits that the user or the customer of uh, our business idea would gain what would they gain for example if it's some app what would our customer would gain from this app so like it's better to focus on the benefits or the solutions that we came up uh, rather than the features that it includes in the project so like this is also another way uh, of designing a good pitch deck and also it's better to show and not tell which means like we need to include uh, a real existing uh, financial reports maybe for example if we if we get uh, about like a lot of different a uh, lot of money within just a few months we can also uh, include that report so like it's uh, showing and not telling not uh, it's uh, this phrase it's uh, it's wanted to say like uh, mainly we need to include action-based uh, qualities in our pitch deck rather than uh, plan-based qualities and then make your pitch deck look professional we um, during this in this we we might be we might include uh, uniform fonts for our slide and selecting a good template also it might help and coloring and other like team selection it might help so like if you have a good template and also a uniform font it might uh, help it to look like a professional one and the next one is crafting compelling pitch deck copy uh, there are a lot of different writing styles you might refer that uh, i have included a lot lot of different resources for this also and practicing your presentation delivery at the end of the day if, uh, whether you have a good pitch take or not the main point is whether your confidence while delivering that pitch take for the investors or not so like that's what uh, that's what's going to be that's where it's going to be decided whether that pitch take is a good one or not so like you need to practice and try to deliver a good a good pitch deck so uh, let's try to see an example so this is uh, original pitch deck of omuf it's uh, this one uh, it's a pitch deck so like uh, in the, the it's a slide i think it's around 15 18 so 18 page uh, we will just see 
uh, first they included the title over here and the founder name so they try to uh, first show uh, the problem in visualization way so we have uh, this is that for example we have a developer that's called jeff and mary so this is a project ios developer for camera app this is one uh, one project and then we have jeff and mary jeff he wanted to do it for 500 dollar while mary wanted to do it for 100 dollar so uh, the like this uh, this project is mainly to have to to like to minimize the war between the uh, the price war between individuals and to come up with an average one so the next one it will just uh, have this pro specific project and also this is uh, what's called traction and financial overview so in, in, in this like within six months they plan to get nine nine hundred fifty thousand dollars so like it is a uh, thirty percent so this is a real existing financial report which will uh, attract our investors so and then they try to include um yeah these are just uh visualizations that would just attract the investors as well um uh you can see this is a single based programs to you so this is just the user interface of their project their project and also uh, this is why why it is so important this project and also uh, this is a financial growth that they have shown up within a limited year this is two years and the like the financial the, their financial report is really amazing because like they transformed from one billion to four billion within just two years and also their vision they included their vision and a team and investors and advisors and they try to include one of their testimonials so this is an ios developer within this project which are who earns around 15k in one month so yeah this is just one way of uh, include like uh, driving a pitch deck for your project uh, do you have any questions so far do you have any questions so far okay okay tarefa or bernard tarefa you can bernard you can go hi thank you um um good morning to everyone from my side here yeah. thank you for the presentation um i just wanted clarity so this one like the pitch um is it for like the app is it for those is it for service provision like if you are looking for someone to uh develop an app for you then you can go there to uh hire them i just want to understand the context of the service they are trying to to put out there uh so are we talking about the pitch the examples that i have showed i have showed you or the overall yes idea? The example that you have me. i just want to understand the the context for which this kind of pitch was was when pick deck was developed uh, Okay, so like this pitch deck, which is on pitch deck, it is uh, basically they try to they try to minimize the price war between the developers. So they will just accept a project and then they will present it for the developers. So uh, they are intermediates. They are the intermediate bet between the project and the uh, developers. So they will just. Uh, have a fixed price for each project and then um, after recruiting a uh, high qualified developers that will just uh, give them the project for each individuals so it's basically a type of upwork if you know upwork but uh, this one it it's for a limited area and also they are the one who recruits the developers and they will just task them the 
project that they are going to do. Okay, thank you. Okay, Kasa? Uh, okay, Ikram, uh, thank you for the presentation. Maybe my question is, I think you show us some uh, templates for uh, to make pitch decks, yeah? Yeah. So are we expect to, to prepare our project like this uh, by using these templates or simply uh, I suppose to prepare in a uh, word form, uh, MS Word? document then convert to powerpoint but now you show us the, the the template some template so are we going to submit by template prepare by template and submit to that one yeah so uh, if you are asking about submission i think your submission it only includes from task one to task four and creating a pitch deck is task six so I don't think it's included in your submission, but we can also check the challenge documentation. But if you're going to create a pitch deck, it's better to uh, to use these templates because these templates are the existing based and qualified templates. For example, if you there's also a template which is Tinder's. So uh, Tinder's uh, after like after presenting their a pitch deck around three uh i think it's uh around three times they get uh about fifteen fifteen thousand dollars fund so like it's better to use these templates because they are the selected ones from the collection of pitch deck yeah maybe in my understanding a uh, pitch deck means the the just it is a it is a presentation to our to our business plans maybe the way we are going to present the way we are going to prepare a business plan for our organization or for our projects and uh, as you can see from the instruction of our assignment in task six if you can see it just maybe let you back to that let you take me to that yeah here it is. Uh, Thank you. So in this case, yeah, uh, one introduction, two like that one. So where we can get these pitch templates? Okay, so yeah, uh, you can see it over here. A pitch deck. It's uh, uh, like about the templates. I have already con, uh, con I, I have already included it in resource section of the slide that I used to present. But yeah, you can see over here for introduction. It's expected one slide for problem statement one slide also, and for solution one slide. Yeah, you can see it over here. Market opportunity one to two slides. So, yeah. Yeah. So my question is just will give will put some solutions or answers for each subsection in this case then will convert or will put will prepare in powerpoint yeah but now you show us a template yes so like it's better to work on this uh, this like it's better to you can you can use the templates that i provided you with and also you can con you can make sure to contain this content is the first one it might it's introduction basically for all of the templates and then problem statement and then solution it's okay. basically like almost the same but it's better to go with the challenge document since we are doing this one but you can also use that template i mean like you can use the template but with the challenge documents content. Okay, so it is not mandatory, but we can simply prepare these questions and present in PowerPoint, yeah? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, actually I didn't finish. So, okay. yeah, uh, these are like the essential components of a pitch deck. So no matter uh, at what stage your company is at, you need to contain your vision or your mission, your mission or vision, the problem, the market size of the opportunity or all of these six components. But like uh, these are, uh, these are a, cont a content that are contained in, in most of the pitch deck 
that exists as a best qualified pitch deck uh, from the world. So uh, these are also a best contents. Uh, you can also include a document as we have already seen. Uh, and also these are best practices and design tips. And at last we will see the importance of having a pitch deck which is uh, the first one is to clarify a business idea. So if you are using a pitch deck to present your business idea, it will just help you to complete to communicate the complex business idea in just a simple way. S since it will it will it's going to contain the problems, the solutions, the financial reports, or the 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 the, the, the benefits that your business idea will. Uh, provide for your customers. Uh, it will also help you to persuade stakeholders. It's uh, like a pitch deck, it's a powerful tool for persuading investors, partners, customers, or other stakeholders. Mm. And also it will improve efficiency. Uh, a pitch deck, it will, it, it will save you time and effort, which will allow you to, uh, again, uh, help under help like entrepreneurs and other new business uh, business influencers to understand your business idea uh, within a limited time so, um, and also uh, in order to improve your pitch deck the first one is uh, you need to focus on the problem while you're crafting your pitch deck and also including uh, tell a story which is you need to uh, you need to include a uh, storytelling technique as we have already seen in the best practices um, and also you need to keep it simple and direct and clear since you don't want any confusion uh, like any confusion to rise uh, in the first time that you're going you're presenting your business idea uh, to the entrepreneur so like you need to make it simple and clear clear so they they can have the direct they can understand the direct idea of your business and be visual uh, actually having a visualization or uh, other like insightful content is it will help you to attract the audiences which are the business influencers so uh, having a visualization is a good thing and also practice a lot so you at the end of the day the way you present it matters so you need to practice a lot so that you can have a good uh, you can create a good understanding of your your business idea towards your audiences so yeah these are uh, resources so these are sample examples yeah there's also a youtube pitch a pitch deck over here yeah, so you can you can see in like create in in this way, but you need to make sure to include all the contents that are described that are included in your challenge document. As you have uh, as you as you can see, first you need to include introduction. So, uh, like then the problem, the solution, market size, and like. It might be specific to the business ideas that you're introducing, but try to include all the contents that are mentioned in challenge document for your submission. Yeah, this, uh, there are a lot of different uh, pitch decks, so you can refer to them. Yeah, uh, these are also a different pitch deck, uh, like examples that you can refer to i think like this is end of it if you have any question uh you can raise it and we will see uh is there anyone with a question do we have anyone who got confu confusion about pitch deck or is there anything that you want an answer for it okay so it seems like everything is clear for you all uh, i'm glad that it's clear so let's wrap up the session and okay tarafa you can continue yeah thank you uh, actually it's a good presentation
maybe regarding this uh, PhD, you were showing us the demonstration from the the first page, but uh, we, maybe from my side, I need to know how we can start, uh, you know, to get that first page. Like, is it by searching on Google, or how can we go to the template and then sure. we'll uh, go through it? And the uh, next one is: Is it already uh, ready-made template? Because uh, in your example, uh, we didn't see that we. I mean, we couldn't uh, just provide any input for the template. Just already, it is. It's already uh, made. So, uh, how can we use it? Like you know, it's already uh, prepared one, or there is a space to uh, to be uh, inserted from our side. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, okay, Tarafa. So uh, these are an example templates. There are there exists a free templates in order to to design a fish deck. In Canva also you can refer that. And also like on the resources that I've provided, there are examples. So you can use that uh, specific content or their presentation uh, in order to have a good quality uh, fish deck. But also like. Uh, you you can start using a simple slide but you need to you need to make sure to contain all the like all the contents that are already mentioned in the challenge document so you can you can have a free template in canva also you can refer canva i think you have already seen canva uh, from week nine i guess week nine uh, challenge challenge so you can refer on canva and other different uh, like uh, other different uh, platforms so uh, you can refer from that a free template or you can see uh, what I've provided some of them are a premium one but you can see the free existing one so you can use that but again uh, make sure that you contain all the contents that are included in your challenge document so you can start from the scratch using just a simple slide or you can refer free templates. Is that okay now, Tarafa? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Kasa, you can continue. Okay, sorry for I come back. Uh, yeah, maybe in this regard also, as you see in the assignment, <coughs> you are expected to submit in slide or in ppt form and now if we can prepare this issue with the template i think can we change this template to ppt or shall we going to share some links like the notion because if we are going to use the template i think it, it may we may change it to in online to slide or ppt how we are going to convert to slides or how we can share you okay so that's a good question uh but uh, in canva or in different other platforms if you get to see a free templates they are prepared with a slide format so no need to worry about uh, link sharing or other stuff so you can just simply uh, design your pitch deck using the templates and also download it using like in pdf format and then upload it in your drive and then share that link okay so it is downloadable yeah we can download it there is a download uh, link yeah you can download it and a pitch deck is normally prepared uh, like in a slide format so uh, it will be like in slide thank you okay okay so do we have another question is there any confusion so far? Make sure that you will share us this uh, uh, presentation so that we can also get uh, those links on it. Thank you. Okay, okay, Tarafa. I will upload it on the technical contents drive folder so you can access it from there. So, like, I think uh, everything is clear now. So, we can wrap up the session and have a good day for all of you. So, yeah, before uh before wrapping up if everything is clear yeah some thumbs up